What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. Today's episode was is it was an episode that I wasn't sure if I wanted to make. Um, I asked the opinion of my family. My wife said I shouldn't be showing this. My daughter Tiffany said, "Well, if you're going to be a YouTuber, you got to show the good with the bad. You can't just you know only show a one-sided story about what happens here." I kind of agree with my daughter. What happened today is, is a very sensitive topic. One of our, well actually not one of our, it is the oldest fish or oldest stingray that we have here at the Center for Stingray Biology. Uh, it passed away today. Um, it is the first stingray or I, I, actually in that in that regard I'm not sure if it's the first one but it is definitely one of the first stingrays we've ever bred the ray is actually older than both of my daughters um, Tiffany how old are you I'm 11. all right she's 11 and uh, if I had to guess this fish is probably about 15 years old somewhere around there 14 15 this fish was actually bred by the godfather of stingrays himself, Dr. Richard Ross. For those of you guys out there who don't know who he is, who uh, is relatively new to the stingray hobby, he is the man that brought about the stingray hobby to the world, okay? Um, he wrote the first books on freshwater stingrays. He cataloged um, all the freshwater stingrays at the time and um, and, and published the, the Aqualog book. That's that orange book that I'm sure a lot of you have. Um, and he came up with the P numbering system, right? P1, P2, P3, P13, P14, right? We all know it. And um, P11 is the one that we just lost. But, um, so yeah, he's the man who created the numbering system, identified all these stingrays so that it was uh, more attainable in the hobby. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to, I, I believe that book is still available. You can probably get it on Amazon or look it up online, the Aqualog Stingray Guide. And uh, there's a Baron's book, which is a very basic beginner's book. That particular ray was bred by Richard Ross. And um, it was actually the first ray to come into this facility. Okay, this is the secondary facility for you guys who don't know. The first facility, the original facility, is up in Santa Barbara. And we extend it down into here. And I believe that Henley I was one of the first rays to come down into this place and probably cycle in this system. So there's a lot of history with her. But yeah, I just wanted to fill in some of the gaps for you guys so that you can understand what this ray means to me. You know, given that I have so many rays here, people are like, oh, what's, well, what's so special about that particular one? Well, there you go. There's a lot of history there. So it is the oldest one. And here it is. It's the Henley eye, and for some reason, when a, when a fish dies, it always looks better. You see, she's like glowing, her spots are glowing. Um, she sustained a bunch of damage around the edge of her disc. I'm suspecting that it was from some sort of bacterial infection. If you guys remember, it was the ray that we moved out of this tank because I had to redo the coating. Um, now, being that it's one of our oldest fish, you know, I'm still learning. A lot of people ask, what is the, what is the average lifespan of a stingray or what's the oldest a stingray can get? And, and that's a question that we're still learning, right? Because the, 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 the hobby of uh, keeping stingrays is still a relatively new hobby in relationship to most of the fish that is out there. So there's not many people that have been keeping stingrays for the, over a, uh, two decades, except for you know Dr. Richard Ross, which he is still keeping rays. And we have documented some of our oldest rays being over 20 uh, some odd years old. Okay, um, my guess is if I had to you know put together the whole scenario here, hey guys, I'm filming here. Okay, uh, what I have. To, you know, like I said, if I had to put together an educated guess as to what happened here, I'm thinking being that it is the oldest fish that we have, and like in old people, our immune systems are weaker, 
I mean, she's healthy. Her tail is nice and fat. She's always been eating, but after I moved it here, maybe, uh, you know, being with these new tank mates, something stressed her. I did see the males nipping at her a little bit, but it wasn't so bad that I felt I had to move it. And then I come in this morning and I see this. Like I said, I'm, I'm thinking it's a bacterial infection that set in and with a, a, a compromised immune system from old age, it just, you know, all together added up to that happening. So we're gonna pull her out now. Um, I'm gonna flip her over, take a look. Maybe there's something else going on there. But my guess is, you know, exactly what I just said. And we're gonna dispose of this ray. But this thing is huge and I'm so sad to see it go. Um, it's actually, I found it already here this morning when I came in at eight o'clock and it's now like 4.30 in the afternoon. I kind of just left it there, you know, um, heartbroken and not really wanting to dispose of it and trying to enjoy it a, a, a little bit more before it goes, you know. I really, really love this ray. Just something about it, the way it glows, you know, compared to all the other rays, their spots doesn't glow the same way as like when I bounce back to this one. It has like that halo. But, all right, we're gonna pull it out now. Hey, Tiffany, can you come hold the camera? And then we're gonna try to pull this thing out now. You see mommy's already got the net and the trash bag. Uh, let me grab my other glove. I mean, this, this fish is gonna be really heavy. And, um, Man, I'm just dreading doing this. I was, this is one of the rays I'm like most proud of. It's my oldest. It is the biggest ray, you know, and it's always a showstopper. When I, when I uh, show people this ray, people always say, oh, what's the biggest ray you have here? And I always point to this guy or this girl. Man, look at this. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to lift it up by hand. What I typically do is get latched onto the mouth here. Let me find it. There we go. Um, now there was something very special about this ray. Why well, I like loved her so much um, and it's something about Henley eyes okay I'm gonna show you the underside of this fish we never really got to enjoy this fish because it's been in a tub but in a tank you would see it the belly is fully spotted like popcorn spotted look at that can you guys see that come closer to and get a good look that is why this is one of my favorite rays in this place I kept her because her belly had pattern like this. So it's really heavy right now. I don't even know if I can lift it over the grating. Move your end away. But I'm, oh my goodness. I need, the, I need the ladder so I can step up and pull it higher. Turn it around. Oh, sorry. Move. Oh, nicely. Ah. Cam up. Because you're blocking. It's thick. Oh. Oh. Watch out for Stinger. Come on. I don't get it up here. Look at that. The Stinger oh, tore up the bag. Yeah, it really smells. Uh. But, hold on. Just so you guys, okay, pull it back down. I just really want you guys to get a perspective of how big this ray is. Uh, yeah, I got it. Oh. <laughs> Kimberly was in the background. All right, so we really gotta watch out for that stinger. 
somebody can get hurt. Uh, everyone is gagging. So you guys, if you guys ever dispose, watch out, watch out. If you guys ever disposed of a dead thing right before, um, it really does smell because the slime coat um, and the feces, it all comes out in the urine. Boy, is still about. To... I'm trying not to laugh, Tiffany. I'm trying to be serious here. Okay. But anyways, guys. Um, it's not a very happy moment. You guys can truly see why I'm so sad. It was such a beautiful ray, and like, why it's, like I said, one of our oldest rays. It's a ray that we're really proud of um, to have here at the center, and it's no longer with us. I don't think I can ever find a replacement for this one. Uh, all right, so we're gonna throw this away in the trash, okay? And, uh, you know, we're gonna go home now and just, uh, called the end of the day uh, after pulling something like this out of out of my tanks really don't have the, the the desire to do anything else tonight all right so thank you guys for watching it was just something I wanted to share with you guys you know I want to be true to my subscribers uh, that I, I don't just show a one-sided story about what happens here at the center and now Tiffany is gagging too but I don't see you laughing all right so I'm gonna grab this and throw this outside um, definitely this fish is heavy. It, oh, God, oh, God, God, you guys see it, the, sting, the stinger came yeah. through the bag. We got to be really careful. If I had to guess, this thing is probably about, I would say, 50 pounds, maybe more. in this dumpster and take off these gloves if you guys ever need to do this you should wear the gloves the slime coat on the raid makes it really slippery to grip if it wasn't for these gloves I probably wouldn't have been able to hold it it would have slid out of my hands um, and it's very hard to wash that slime off your hands uh, you really have to rub 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 all right again thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time, all right? Take care. Did you really throw up or you yes. were just... Seriously, you really threw up? It was that bad? You actually... Oh my wow. goodness. Guys, I think we're just gonna have to give... We have to give Oi some props. So please, in the comments below, we have to thank Oi for our help. She lost all her lunch. So I think I'm gonna have to buy her an early dinner tonight. Take care. Yeah.